Hey guys, how you doing? Hope all is well, having a good week and everything like that. Hey, so slightly different episode today. Well, not different, but um, got a new toy down here. It's one I've had for quite a while. And uh, it was living at home and I thought I'd bring it into the studio only because I'm doing some stuff at home and I it needs a place to live. And I think it will probably stay here permanently. Solid robust keyboard and it's one that I see pretty much Every time I'm sort of like watching live performances on YouTube and stuff, uh, one of these um, usually appears. Guess what? Here it is. Phantom. Good keyboard, that. Um, uh, it does the job. This is a Phantom X6. Now, a while ago, I had the uh, the X8, uh, and which is a full eight octave keyboard, fully weighted and stuff like that. And um, I did quite a few tracks on it. In fact, I mean, ideally, I'd love to get another one because of just the way it felt. It had like, a really good feel to it. The X6 is nice. I mean, I'm not knocking this. I got this because I just wanted a replacement. What happened was I had the X8 for quite a while. I sold the X8 and then probably a year or two later, um, I picked up the Phantom X6 and stuff like that because I missed it. And just the, the, the way in which you could just build stuff, I mean, yeah, I mean, I had samples running it. It's a sample sampling keyboard, sampling workstation. It's got a sequencer on it. Uh, it's got, yeah, pretty much everything you need in, in, in one unit. Really, really good. So from that point, it was, yeah, just a real workstation. I think at that point, it was the one keyboard that I had. I just did everything through it. I had a little spare. Um, I had, think I had a, yeah, I had another Novation keyboard, which is probably one of the, uh, the oldest items that I've got in, in terms of my recent studio and stuff like that but yeah and the phantom just put the sounds in it all the samples and you can just sit there just like a workstation just, just like the stuff that you could do now um and it just it just did the job really really good so yeah i'm kind of just exposing the um delights of my phantom x6 now that it's here and I've noticed that since I brought it in, which is a couple of days ago, and I've switched it on, I seem to gravitate towards it. And I'm playing it, I'm playing around with it more so than I did when it was at home, which is interesting. I used to turn it on, play around. But as I said, the children had their notes um, overlaid on it and then they'll just play it. So, I mean, it's a good device. I mean, I've got, look, I mean, this is how it sampled it. I think it's a 16 bit sampler. So, I mean, the pads are good. Uh, solid stuff yeah it's all here I mean it's a Roland isn't it I mean the end of the day so you're getting all the Roland sounds in there um, yeah everything to do with Roland all the Roland keyboards are in there in their digital form and stuff and it's yeah it just it's it's great for sampling and stuff like that uh, I'll play a, a, this is a heavyweight sample so right Hold to your seatbelts, everyone. Looks like a drum sound's playing along with it. Don't know where that came from, but anyway. So yeah, it's, uh, hang on, let's see, play that again. Not quite sure what it is. Must have loaded up a drum sound at the same time. Um, but yeah, I had a sample in there, which I, I found, I've got um, sample, actually here it is. So, you get this, um, get an adapter. You can put a, what's to call it, compact flash card in there. This is a one gig card. Put it into the adapter, slots in the back. Sound wise, can't fault it. It's 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 got a nice little weighty sound to it. I'm not I'm not gonna lie. So if you if you if you see one of these, um, don't ignore it because it's an all-in-one workstation. It's got the keyboard, it samples. Uh, you can tweak to your heart's content. It's got ADSR on there. It's got um, a pegiator, um, a pegio, sorry. Um, ARP hold, rhythm, chord memory. I would f fully recommend it. It's one of these ones where if you said, okay, I want one device, one keyboard. I know there's newer keyboards out there and uh, you got um you've got the akai keyboards which are which are out there now and stuff like that but i don't know what their price points are um i haven't checked recently if i do i'll put it up in the description somewhere but as a as a device 
you, and you can get this at a decent price. Um, yeah, look into it. The sequence was all right. Um, it, this can sample, I think, up to, what's it got on here? Can you see that? Up to eight samples at a time uh, in terms of loops. And then you can just assign all the, all your, your patches and stuff like that. Hang on, let's just uh, song mode. So you can go in and 16 tracks. You can lay out your sounds in 16 tracks and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, it might be limited compared to hooking it up to a computer, but listen, I mean, you can do a lot with this. Sound-wise, it's good. It's good. Look, I mean, you'll, you'll see in videos that it, it seems to pop up. And I'll tell you, I notice it <laughs> by those pads. Right, you always see the dynamic, you see these pads sitting in the background somewhere for, ah, someone's got an X6 on stage. You know why? This thing works and it's solid, metal, very well built, go for it. Yeah, sound wise, sample's heavy, I mean it's uh, yeah, you chuck it in and it does give it some weight. Um, can I compare it to an MPC 3000 or so? Don't know, um, who knows? I haven't done a comparison between the Phantom X6 and an MPC, but I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe you'd have to compare this to one of the uh, the Roland, is it MV range they had? I don't know. I think they were probably made around the same time. So that might be its most likely comparison but weight wise and stuff like that yeah it's 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 solid i mean when it plays back samples and as i said i've done some tracks in the past which are i've still got uh which i've loaded into computer and stuff like that uh and they sound heavy they sound solid so yeah as a quick workstation and that it it's it's nice solid good all around and as i said the pads They're, they're all right, they're good. I mean, yeah, you have to, you know, sort of get used to them. I think you can probably set the sensitivity and stuff like that, but um, in terms of what they're capable of, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a good all-round workstation. Uh, sampling, uh, synthesis, you can go in. I've got, what have I got? You can do patch edits on here, you can see that? Uh, you can play around with parameters and stuff. So it's got all the, effects and stuff like that on there which you can do so you can take a sound you can tweak it manipulate it to your heart's content good little machine i say good little machine a uh, good solid machine and you know that once you do it you've got uh, does it have a particular sound based on the conversations around sound over the last a couple of weeks or so uh i'm not sure what to compare it to but what i can say is is is, is weighty put it that way so from that aspect it it's uh it will tick the box so that's it just me just giving anyone just in case they come across a phantom x6 and they think oh what is that does it do anything yeah i recommend it you know yeah you'd have to go in and uh, a bit like you would do on some of the older equipment you would have to spend a bit of time getting to learn it and doing you know being able to play around with it but yeah you can produce i mean especially you can hook oh yeah also you can hook it up it syncs to computers and all the rest of it so you can you can use it as your workstation or your keyboard for anything else and hook it up to your computer and port stuff across does a job all right um yeah i think that's it on this there you go job done see ya
Okay, so yeah, chopping samples with a Phantom X6. I hooked up my SP404 Mark II, hooked it up into the Phantom X6, and uh, thought, yeah, let's just chuck some sounds in here and see how it see how it comes out. I know you're doing a sample into a sample, but I just I'm just curious as to how this would sound using the sort of something new. Roland and Roland at the end of the day. Just realised that. Yeah. So um, let's go for it. So what have I got here? I've got a loop what's playing at the moment. Here's something that I've sampled in. And I'll, so I'll keep that. Um, I've already chopped it to, let's see, let's bring that in a bit. Uh, okay, so I've just cut down the length of the loop, give it a preview. I might push it out a little bit. There we go, and um, assign, uh, assign to keyboard or pad, assign it to the keyboard, won't do it to a pad, find a space, uh, it's got 16 sounds in here which are already signed with um, various instruments, so I'm just going to replace something, R&B bass doesn't need to be, sub Oscar, I'll, I'll replace that, it doesn't need to be there, so it's assigned to a sound, do execute, and there it is. So if I go back to song edit and into song edit track six, there it is. You can play it across the keyboard now. Turn it up a bit just to give it a bit of welly. Yeah, cool. Right, so I had another one in here. Now that's the loop. It's just another sound that I had. What did I put? That's another sound I sampled in. So yeah, I've just got them played across the keyboard. I could have assigned them to a pad as well, which is good, but I've just done it on the keyboard so I can mess around it and get a little bit more flexibility. Uh, should I put another sound in there? Put some drum sounds in. Let's see what happens. So I'm going to sample in a couple of drum sounds. So let's go to uh, let's go to sample. Press the button sample. Go into sample list in here. Play a couple of sounds. Let's find something dirty. What have I got? Uh, how much stuff have I got in here? That's fairly clean. Let's get another sound. It's hard. These are quite tough sounds, actually. And I'm sure I had some dirty ones in here. Where's my dirty sounds? Let's do. Let's go to E. That was. Go. Now we've got a loop on there. So this is the. Roland um, SP404 Mark II going into the Phantom and then coming out just through the um, through the system and into the speakers and stuff. Yeah, so I've got some stuff which I've already had looped up in here already. And what I will do, let's go back to. Uh, let's see. Just want something that'll do. Let's go for that one. It's not peaking, so yeah, probably push it up a bit. Um, oh gosh, right. So we go digital in, line in, line out. Yep, that's fine. Do start, stop, edit, start point. Let's wheel it across and preview little bit more in there uh, zoom in can we zoom oh we can so I just use the cursors to zoom in so we've got this zoom in a little bit more a little bit more out a bit yeah that's fine zoom out let's go to the end point scroll down to end point Let's lock this in and yeah, that's fine. That, that works. Might 
but um, yeah, that's fine. Right, okay, assign to keyboard or pad. I'll put this on a pad. Which one should I choose? No, I'll just choose that one, that will do. Replace it, uh, execute. There it is, sitting on the pad, let's get a snare. Okay, let's go to sample in, uh, sample in. That's a nice dirty snare. Yeah, let's take that. Start, stop, doing this really quick. Uh, let's, what's that, the end point? All right, we're starting from the bottom here. Let's grab the end point, bring that reel that in. Go up to the start point, let's reel that in. Oh, one other thing I haven't shown on here is that you can um, discard and stuff like that. So you can chop it so that you can save some space. Um, <coughs> modify the, sorry, excuse me, modify the sample. All right, let's do sample modify and truncate, just so you can see. Truncate it, execute. So now you've just got the the actual remains of the sample. I should have done that with the others. Do a preview, and that's it. Right, um, assign to keyboard. Well, I'm gonna assign it to the pad. Press the button for pad. Let's knock it into it. Put it, put it there. Execute, execute. There it is. And we can still go in and modify it. What do we want to do with this? Uh, emphasize, normalize, you can normalize it, you can stretch it, you can chop it, you can combine it, you can do all sorts of stuff on here. Uh, let's see what emphasize does. Nah, I don't need that. Okay, that's it. Um, so I just wanted to show you how it samples on here. So you can actually do a micro edit or track edit. Now let's do, if we do micro edit, you can see all the notes. And then you can just do erase and just keep erasing until you've deleted all the notes. Simple as that. There's, off, there's, a, there's another way we can just delete the whole thing. Um, but yeah, that's, a, that's another way of doing it. Go back into song. So now you can see it's disappeared. Track 14 had some notes in there. They're now gone. Let's go to 16. Let's delete that as well. Go to micro edit. Let's just get rid of that. Uh, erase. Uh, let's see. Just do erase, 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 erase. That's all. Is that all gone? Yeah, let's see. Um, go song edit, what's left? Oh, something else still in there. Micro edit. Let's wheel it back. Here we go. Delete that. Erase. I think that should be all of them done now. Song edit. Yep, so all of that's gone. And let's go up to track four. That's the loop, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, let's take that out. Uh, micro edit. Let's wheel that. Oh, hang on a sec, let's see, song edit. And uh, yeah, bass sound, let's take that out. Uh, micro edit, let's go back. Uh, let's just do a quick erase. Do that. Erase, 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 erase. Now that's done. Uh, go back, go to view, go to song edit. So that's gone. So let's do a quick play. There's nothing. Something lingering in the background there. Don't look quite sure. And that's there. Don't know how that got recorded. All right, song. Let's do micro edit. Wheel it back and do that. Uh, erase. Okay, fine. Probably got recorded by accident. And go back to song edit. Is that still there? It's still there. Okay, let's do. It must have belonged to something else. Oh. oh probably because I dumped it on a track which already had content on there. So I put the sample in, I recorded the sample into something which already had a pattern already in there. And that's why it just picked up. We just replaced the sound with the existing pattern. So um, just go into micro edit and just, just delete it. 
Uh, let's do let's do rays. Should all be gone unless it's there's obviously some features in here. Or let's come out of that and go back into song mode. Uh, track, let's just do track edit and do erase, and that will that should take it out. There you go, so that's all gone. So there should be nothing in here now apart from the loop. Okay, so now I can go back to that sound I don't need. Let's play the loop. Let's so we've got track three, what we put something on, and I think track six. So we've got track three, track six. Not going to do anything special. Nothing at all. Let's just play it. Oops. Done that wrong. Let's do it again. Let's see what happens when you play that. See if it cuts off the note or whether it's it, it or extends it. Okay. Tuck something in there. Let's go to. Let's see. Let's see if I have to pitch it down or not. Okay, got it. So, let's play. Just a quick loop. So all I've done, taken the sound, a couple of sounds out of the SP404 Mark II, recorded them into the Phantom X6, and just come up with a quick loop. What do you think? And I've got that running into Pro Tools on here, just on a track, and that's it. So yeah, just having a bit of fun. So that's the uh, Phantom X6. Um, Sound-wise, yeah, it's, it's it's clean, 16-bit. Um, it's good sound, as you can see, it can sample nicely. It's got drum pads in here. Let's add something else to it. The only thing you have to do, you can't, if something's, I've noticed, if you're playing, you can't just jump in to record like you can on an NPC. You've got to stop it and it engages the um, recording. Right, let's play that quickly. Slightly out. Hi hat. Need a Here we go. Yeah, 
I'd have to tidy it up. I mean, you can go in to track and sort of do micro edit. You can, as you can see here, you can align the sample. So uh, I have to do it with two hands. Oh, actually, just go into the notes and um, you can move along here and move the note and duration move it to a position let's see where is it that, that one here we go position and you can move them along so velocity duration uh, velocity notes number and uh, MIDI channel and stuff so you can if I do, do enter on here you can move these notes across and stuff like that so yeah you can fully edit it just like you can on most things but it's got all the sounds in here listed all the drum sounds you can go in and tweak to your heart's content and that's it I won't do it in this demo I might it might do it in another one but yeah there you go Phantom X6 nice workstation can do pretty much everything you want it to do yeah it's a little bit more work than the modern ones but it will give you a good sound and you can go in you can sequence you can uh, sample you can play it's got all of the Roland sounds on here everything all you know the 808 909 all the drum machines they're all in here everything's all configured all in one machine and that's it so if you wanted one device and I'm not sure what the price points are if I find it I'll put it up um, but yeah there you go so that was quickly just putting something I haven't touched this I haven't created something in this in ages so um, this is purely from memory and, and, and that was it so yeah but yeah you can get dirty in here it probably rivers I, I think do you in terms of timeline it's probably more along the Roland MV range of um, sampling workstations I think it's in that time period you can probably tell by the design as well it's probably from that side so I probably I think it will be more in line with something like that so in terms of sound I suspect it's similar I'd have to check but if I find out then I'll I'll post something on here but there you go all right just a bit of fun I'm um, playing around with the um, Phantom X6 now that it's here and now I've got something sampled in here I'm gonna save it I'll probably edit it and then I will have it just as a quick loop that I've created on here so yeah good fun uh, thanks to the SP404 Mark II for supplying some of the new sounds there you go all right happy days all right everyone see you later anyway quick vids have fun everyone keep creating keep having fun do your thing see you later